Hello Bison fans, I'm Jeremy Jorgensen, joined by head wrestling coach Roger Kish, and it's an exciting time for Bison wrestling. The Big 12s are coming up, the national tournament is coming up. It was an off week last week. The Bison are coming off their duel against South Dakota State. They're preparing for Tulsa, which is where the Big 12 tournament is. And uh, coach, thanks for joining us here today. Let's talk about where the team is at now. You come off the duel against South Dakota State, have a bye week. You're uh, allowed a time here to get ready for this Big 12, which is a big moment for these wrestlers, isn't it? Yeah, it's important. Uh, you know, we, we really shift our focus from the team aspect, and uh, and now we start really working on, on individuals. And, and, and our, our, our 10 guys competing at the Big 12s are, you know, time for them to get a little selfish. And uh, these guys all need all know what they need to accomplish to reach their own personal goals. And, and they each have their own individual uh, goals that they're trying to reach and things that they got to continue to improve on. So uh, it's really about uh, about the individual at this point. And, and the team is here uh, to support those guys and uh, do everything we can to help those 10 individuals get ready to, to prepare themselves for for the uh, postseason here. Let's talk about the Big 12 in Tulsa. So where does the roster stand at right now? We go in in a pretty good spot with six ranked wrestlers. Yeah, you know, and uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't look at the ranking as is uh, you know where we want to end up. It's it's great, probably uh, you know for the individuals that, that have made that list. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you got to go in and you got to wrestle to uh, you got to wrestle and, and, and have a good tournament and earn your your way to the uh, uh, NCA tournament. And uh, we we try our best to instill that into our guys and not leave with the chance at trying to earn some sort of at large bid. Uh, so it's really uh, really trying to get these guys confident and excited for the postseason. And, and our guys are feeling good. We're, we're healthy and uh, we're excited to see what happens. What's the environment like at the Big 12s here? There's obviously guys who probably think they're a given to go to the NCAAs. There's probably also guys that are on the bubble that really have to work their tail off to get into uh, you know, the situation in their weight that allows them to go to Cleveland where the NCAAs are. Yeah, it's a, uh, you know, you get uh, all, the, all the programs together and uh, it's, you know, you look at you look at where, where the Big 12 is compared to the rest of the conference in the country, and you'll see you'll see just a great uh, a great group of, of programs, and, and uh, you know a lot of competitive athletes, and you got a lot of a lot of ranked wrestlers, a lot of number ones. You got uh, some some favored teams, and uh, so it's a great environment down in Tulsa, and it's uh, you know the the BOK Center is uh, is a fun environment for these guys to go compete in, and they do a nice job down there. So um, you know, really looking forward to what uh, you know forward to what the Big 12 brings, and. Get, get these guys ready to go. What's the key strategy in a weight for like a, a Clay Ream? How does he tackle this? If he's looking at his weight, is it key to get off to a good start in your bracket, wrestle well, uh, so you're peaking at the right time when you get into later matches of your weight class? You know, again, it's, it's an individual tournament. And uh, guys like Clay Ream, they, you know, he, he's a really, really talented guy. But for, for him, it's just one match at a time, every individual. He's, he's been fortunate enough to wrestle the majority of the, uh, the young men that he's going to see this weekend, and he's had success in the past. So uh, really just going back and reflecting, cleaning some things up, finding new ways to, to continue to improve score points and, and uh, you know, find, find different ways not just to win but to dominate guys. And that's really his, his thought process and mentality heading into Big 12. In one spot or another this year, uh, everybody's seen everybody in the Big 12. How do you adjust strategy when you're going into a Big 12 like this? Like if you faced a guy in your weight class two, three times maybe, e each uh, match has gone a little different. How do you adjust strategy and how is this bye week used for that? Well, I, I think uh, now that we have a rough idea of, of you know, where our guys are going to stack up in the, in the, in the Big 12 in tournaments. It gives us an opportunity just to reflect, watch some video. But uh, at the end of the day, it's just about, you know, being confident and believing in yourself and, and what you're capable of and uh, making sure these guys know that they have the tools uh, to go out and, and win no matter who they're against. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, uh, everybody's zero and zero at this point. And, and, and the next two tournaments are, are what define uh, the season for these guys. Did February allow some time too to reflect and also get healthy, a little mental break? There was a couple of bye weeks for you in February, the way the schedule rolled out for you. Yep. This last week, there was one prior to the South Dakota State duel as yep. well. So did this allow these guys uh, good preparation time? Yeah, you know, it was a combination of, of making, uh, you know, taking full advantage of, of the space and time that we, we did have off and uh, not just, you know, uh, preparation and training, but, uh, you know, I think taking a little time off the mats and letting our bodies heal up and, and just kind of getting refreshed uh, plays just an important of a role. And, uh, 
and, and going out and, and, and feeling good and feeling fresh and confident and, and, and just a little more hungry here in the postseason. Uh, so those, those breaks have been really uh, crucial for, for this group of guys. And, uh, you know, I think uh, it's, it's helped out a lot. And, and, and you know, training uh, around those breaks has, has been really beneficial for, for us as coaches and, and the, the guys in the program. They come back, they come excited every day. They want to continue to get better. And, and you know, we probably held them off the mats more than, than we uh, – we have in the past and uh, just making simple adjustments and uh, you know really when it comes time to go we'll let them let them get on the mats and, and and get get after it the big 12 received the third highest amount of automatic qualifier spots that's a that's a really good feat for the conference and a, a good spot for some of these guys there's lots of opportunity at certain weight classes yeah you know what uh, and you look at the auto qualifiers, I think uh, the Big 12 has done a great job. And, and you still kind of reflect, and it's still a young conference uh, with all of the, you know, programs that have, that have just uh, joined, joined the, the Big 12. So uh, relatively young as, as a whole. Um, but uh, I, I think you're going to continue to see those auto qualifiers grow and grow and grow every year. And, and that's what we want. We, we certainly want to be able to, to rival, you know, conferences like the Big Ten when it comes to auto qualifiers and, and give, give the Big 12 and, and our, our student athletes the best chance that they, uh, they can have to, to go out and get to the NCAA tournament and, and make some noise. Best of luck to you and the guys at Tulsa. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, thank you. You betcha. We're going to have video coverage with Rich Grossman from our video department who will travel with the team. We'll have coverage from Tulsa. We'll recap things after it uh, plays out, and we'll see what the situation is heading into the NCAAs. Have a great week, everybody.